Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. So the ATX standard that's so common for motherboards came out all the way back in 1995. And while modern ones have become packed with features, our technology back then was so primitive that not only did we have to clap our hands to turn our lights on and off, but sound chips, networking, drive controllers, etc., often required separate adapter cards. Not only that, but drives don't need as much space anymore, both because single drives are much higher capacity than they were 20 years ago, and because physically smaller SSDs have taken off in popularity. Plus, internal optical drives are becoming rare on desktop PCs thanks to digital distribution of games, movies, and music. So why is it still so easy to buy large mid and full tower cases? I mean, who actually needs these things? Well, believe it or not, there are still a number of reasons that you might want to consider an impressively sized case, with perhaps the most obvious being that you're building a powerful rig that needs more components. Using your computer as a home server, such as a NAS for storing video, or as a big-time editing workstation, can require multiple high-capacity hard drives, especially if you're using a RAID array to back up your work or speed up performance. Video footage tends to take up lots of space, and bulky hard drives do hold more footage more cheaply than smaller SSDs. And more drives means you might need more drive headers to connect them to, which will mean a higher-end motherboard with more of them built in, or, more likely, an inexpensive add-in card that has extra headers on it. But what if you're not video editing or running a server? Well, even though many smaller cases can hold up to two graphics cards no problem, you might still consider a bigger case if you still need to add more adapter cards, such as a sound card, a video capture card, PCI Express SSDs, that drive adapter I just mentioned, or legacy I.O. cards that can add older style ports to a new system for old devices you'd still like to use. Scientific instruments are notorious for this. And even if none of this applies to you, you still may have components that run hot, and a larger case may be able to help you cool things off. Not only will larger cases give you more room for both air and water cooling accessories, like pumps, radiators, and fans, they can provide more breathing space for your components, especially if you're a tinkerer and you're into overclocking your CPU or GPU. On the subject of cooling, larger cases usually offer more flexibility in terms of how you configure them, with some of them allowing you to relocate components, like pumps or drive cages, in a matter of minutes, with some even going as far as to allow you to move the graphics card to a flashier location next to the window, or even flip around the motherboard itself. But we'd be remiss if we didn't talk about two of the most straightforward reasons. One, large cases give you more space to work in, making building and upgrading easier. And two, aesthetics. Some people just like the look of an imposing, beefy case, and you'll get more room to trick it out with RGB fans, custom lighting, or even fancy designs etched onto the side panel. So while these behemoths of the battle station world aren't for everyone, there are definitely some cases where bigger is indeed better. <laughs> Cases. Speaking of whatever I was just talking about, check out Private Internet Access VPN. Not only does PIA work on up to five devices at once by hiding your true IP address and allowing you to bypass geo restrictions and censorship by making you appear as though you're connecting from somewhere else, it also blocks unwanted connections to help prevent attacks, it auto blocks all traffic if the VPN disconnects, keeping your data out of the hands of advertisers and other snoops who are tracking your activity, it prevents DNS leaks, and even includes MACE, PIA's built-in malware blocker. PIA supports multiple VPN protocols and encryption levels, allowing you to dial in the exact level of protection that you need, and they've got apps for Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, Linux, and a Chrome extension, with support for more platforms coming soon. PIA has over 3,000 servers in 28 countries and does not log user activity, so what are you waiting for? Check them out today at the link below.
So thanks for watching guys. If you disliked this video, hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, check out our other channels, leave a comment if you have suggestions for future Fast as Possibles, and get subscribed. I promise I'll never make a joke like that again. I lied, I will.